Hello everyone, uh, Gerald here again. Uh, just back with uh, a little quick tutorial on showing how Photoshop's uh, warp function can be used to effectively do any uh, perspective correction and or any composition corrections uh, to rectify um, some certain aspects of uh, the image itself that may not be quite in the right place and you know, may want to have another crack at uh, just enhancing it slightly. So without further ado, here's a shot I took um, a while ago. It uh, was a kind of a pretty random shot. I didn't have the tripod. I was pretty pushed for time. So I kind of just jumped into the scene, banged off a few shots, got it back. And I was quite pleased with what I got. You know, there was good, a good curving leading line coming off the rocks and, uh, you know, the, the, the river here, pulling the, the viewer's eye into the horizon. Um, I shot this with my Nikon D800E with my 16 to 35 millimeter at 16 millimeter. Good, but no cigar. Um, because as much as the eye is coming in, and this is helping to bring the eye in, it's kind of like coming in and then ooh, it's kind of like floating away a little bit up into the top left hand corner here. I've got a kind of quite a lot of dead sky here. And yeah, I mean, I could maybe try and fix that with burning it, darkening it down, or putting a vignette up there. But um, what I would actually prefer to do is to draw on as a say Photoshop's warp tool. Um, now what I'm about to do from here on in is going to be destructive in terms of it's going to be on a pixel level. So I'm going to come up to my layers um, panel here and I'm just going to uh, jump or copy this layer um, by pressing on a Mac Command J or on a PC that would be Control J and that's made a copy. So what I now want to do is I want to isolate this sky uh, in order to do what I need to do to it. And in order to do that, I'm going to come over up here and I'm going to select my uh, quick select tool. And I am going to start just gently drawing in, hoping that it's going to should connect. It doesn't, fortunately for this, it doesn't have to be 100% pixel perfect. And yep, fantastic. It's, it's drawn a selection around that sky area. Now, I don't necessarily have to do this at this juncture, but to be on the safe side, after I've made this correction, if I wanted to then go in and make any further kind of contrast or color adjustments, it would be handy to have this selection uh, available again as a mask. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to this tab here, my channels tab, and I'm going to come down to this icon here, the uh, rectangle with a hole in it, and I'm just going to click on that. And that's going to save um, this selection as a channel, and it's going to call it alpha one. Now. I'm now going to press Command or Control D to deselect, and I'm just going to double click on this Alpha 1 name and just call it Sky. Right, so I'm just going to click back on the RGB. Now, what I'm going to do is I now am going to reselect this Sky area by um, select it, first selecting this channel, and then on a Mac it would be a Command click, and on a PC it would be Control click. And that um, reselects that area. So I'm now going to come back up to the RGB layer so I can see this. I am now going to come down under Edit and I am going to come down to Transform Warp. Now what Photoshop's going to do, it's going to put this mesh grid uh, across that selection and basically what that will then allow us to do, let me just zoom out one stop, is that you can click on any point here and begin to, as it suggests, warp that particular image. Now you can click on any of these uh, horizontal and vertical lines and stretch and pull as much as you want. Now on the corners you will notice there are these bezier handles and you can again pull those in, pull those out. Uh, it's pretty simple and pretty intuitive how to use this but let me just um, let me just go back and undo all that by clicking on that and say don't apply. Um, so after deselect this, I'm just going to, what I want to do is I actually just want to, I've got this kind of nice diagonal coming down from these clouds here, but as I say, I just want to accentuate the diagonal of, of these clouds coming in here just to kind of help pull the eye back in as they take out a little bit of this dead space here. So I'm going to come back under edit, I'm just going to come down to transform and I'm going to go to warp. I'm going to just click and hold down on this particular corner and I'm actually just going to hold down the shift key as well in order to constrain this vertically. And I'm just going to pull that up. And I'm going to hit enter to accept that. And I'm going to um, press command D to deselect. And that basically is it. So what I want to do is come back to my layers panel. Let's just toggle this on and off so you can see the before and after. This is what we just did. And that's where it was before. So not a huge change, but you know, it, 
it doesn't have to be you know sometimes obviously less is more and and but just that little lift there I think makes that a far more um, dynamic composition than just having those kind of GRs floating around having all this dead space up and around here and obviously you know similarly you know if I wasn't particularly pleased with uh, you know this particular and I wanted to accentuate the pull from this diagonal um, let's see I would li actually for this I would just want to isolate this foreground so I'm actually just going to take the marquee tool and pull that out and I don't think I'm even going to bother saving that as a channel because this is just for demonstration purposes now with that selected and this layer selected I'm going to come back down to edit transform warp and you know I could do the exact same thing down here if I wanted to kind of really pull and accentuate these foreground rocks down here which I don't wouldn't particularly want to do because uh, I think it's okay but just to give you uh, another idea of uh, other things you could do with this um, so I'm just going to not apply that and deselect so once again that's just that little lift there I think has made this a much more successful composition and that's how you can use the uh, Photoshop's warp tool in order to make those kind of small corrections and or any other kind of perspective corrections uh, that you may need to um, adjust within the uh, confines of your composition so thank you very much for watching once again and I will catch you on the next go round